Hello everyone, Joe here, and uh, we're back in another video, uh, another Armor 2 tutorial video. Uh, another one to help you guys out with some basic Armor 2 stuff, which uh, can really confuse some people. I know it's confused me in the past. Definitely this tutorial anyway. Um, and that's jets. Uh, you already know that from the title. This is jets. This will be a tutorial on jets, how to fly jets, how to shoot from jets. All the awesome stuff if you want to get into jets sometime. So, um, yeah. That's, that, that is about what, what's going to happen in this tutorial. I'm going to show you basic taxiing. So getting this jet from here onto the runway. And then to take off. How to maintain flight. How to uh, gain altitude. How to lower altitude. How to speed up. How to do little tricks in the air. Like flip around and stuff like that. And shooting and stuff. And then obviously the, the uh, final bit will be landing. Um, so... I'm going to be showing this jet, uh, the A-10 in this tutorial. This jet's really fast, it's a really good jet to show the tutorial with because it's usually on most servers and um, it's just a great jet to fly. Now, I have had the benefit of playing Flight Simulator so i kind of uh, kind of lucky with the fact that I know you know general stuff about flying and I flew you know planes in Flight Simulator so I'm just, I know how to fly really. Uh, not to say that this game is quite a bit different than Flight Simulator, obviously, it's, this is Armour 2. But it's still giving me a bit of a benefit on flying and general um, general flight. So I'm going to show you straight away, we're going to jump into this uh, plane. Now, it's the same as almost all, well, all vehicles. You scroll and then you get in as, well, driver, but in this case it'll be pilot. Thing pops down, you climb up like I just did, and then you hop into the plane. Now this is the plane. Now you may look at this and you go, oh my god. God, uh, what am I going to do? That's so many controls. Don't worry about that. You're not going to have to use any of them. Th none of this matters to you. Um, this matters. And I'm not sure what else. I don't usually look at these. I just hop in. That's about it. Now, flying the uh, starting up the jet is just like starting up a car. You press Q. Engine comes on. This lowers the hatch. Wait till the engine boots up, and there we go. Now you successfully started a plane. Uh, not too hard, obviously, you press one key. Um, and this always got me, I, I was, always forgot which key it was to start the plane. Uh, I don't know if that's just me, or, you know, that's just me, or everyone, I don't know. But I, uh, it's Q, just to start up the plane, and that's about that. So, getting the plane to move is the same key, it's Q. Now, taxiing, I'm going to show you first, is not like flying jet or taking it off. You've got to be slow. Now, the way I do this is I tap the key. You just tap it nice and slowly. And if you're in an airport, you'll see these yellow lines. These are taxi lines. This is basically how you get around at the airport. You stay on these lines. And rem remember to stay on these lines. This is going to avoid you hitting your wing on anything, because these lines are made you know, for planes and... Uh, cars and stuff like that at an airport. So you just stay stuck to this line and you tap Q. Now you want to keep the speed of around, around 30 and then change it, you know, when turning corners and stuff like that. And that'll just give you a steady, steady movement. Now, you may be wondering how I'm turning X and C is how to turn on this game. Like that. And that will give you, you know, basic rudder. So now you can turn left of uh, X and right of C. So, let's get ourselves onto the runway now. Now, as I'm coming up to this corner, I may want to slow down a little bit so I press Z or Z, you Americans, just to get around this corner without having to hit the grass or anything. And then, a bit more power to speed up again back to 30 speed. Uh, if you followed the vehicle tutorial you'll know what the uh, SPD at the top means, that's speed. Uh, obviously uh, ALT is altitude so that's how high you are above ground level. I think it works in that way. I can't remember, I'll have to 
get into flight again. So I'm just getting onto the runway here, it doesn't matter which side of the runway I'm on. I'm just going to show you guys how to take off. Now we press this, oh! It's funky. Now, on a lot of uh, servers you'll have to request takeoff clearance. Um, this is because they simulate, you know, real life. You don't just drive into a runway and take off. Uh, you'll have to go onto TeamSpeak, you'll say, um, you know, A10 requesting takeoff. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not on a server, this is just a mission I knocked up quickly. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just take off and show you guys how to take off. Now, before taking off, and this is a really, you know, thing that everyone, well, nobody does, is flaps. Flaps are really important. You always want to make sure the flaps are down. Oh no, which way? No, mi uh, middle, that's it. I'm trying to think, I haven't done this in quite a while, so I'm trying to think. If fla flaps are always in the middle. So make sure flaps are at the middle. So that's when you f when you press flaps down. Uh, hopefully it should show both flaps up and flaps down. When you can see both flaps up and flaps down, that means your flaps are right in the middle. And you can take off now. So taking off is easy. You press Q. Make sure you keep balance with C and X. Make sure you stay on the lines. Make sure you don't wander off onto the grass or anything like that. You get to about, about the right speed. You press S. This will give you push your nose up. And next thing you know, you're off the ground. Now quickly, when you get off the ground, you want to press the gear up. So you get that down. Set your flaps down. Take off Q. So now you're not pressing Q or Z, you're just flying. Basically, this is just you know standard uh, you know engine speed. And you're just flying along normally. It's kind of weird looking at it like this. I haven't put, uh, flew over Chinuris in quite a long time, so it's weird. It's like uh, so the only time I played Chinuris recently is on DayZ. And uh, it's kind of weird looking at it like this. So, okay, so now, now you're in the air, you want to use A and D. Please remember, guys, if you don't know any of the controls, drop a comment. Uh, just tell me, you know, Joe, I didn't get the control to turn right on the runway, or I didn't get the control to barrel roll, or something like that. Uh, just drop a comment, say, and I'll just send it to you straight away. Or you can just bring up the controls, options, controls, there we go. All controls, you just go into aircraft. It's all there. X and C. So, now we're in the air. Fly around, easily, press A and D. Whee! Spin around. Careful, if you're on ace, you might not want to do that, it can knock you out. But because this is just standard armor 2, we should be okay. And now we can just fly around peacefully. Well, we'll get some speed up here because we've actually stalled the plane. Now, actually, I'll give you a little bit of that. I'll show you how much we've stalled the plane. So, if you go down at a really fast speed. Oh no, it's the way around, is it? If you go wrong like this. Hold Q. Look at the SPD at the top there. Look at the, look, there we go, it goes red, you see. You've stalled the plane. And now what you want to do is bank down as fast as you can. You want to bank down, press Q, pick up some speed, and then pull up. Oh, it's doing it again. Stalling is a really, really, really bad thing. You do not want to stall. Stalling is just, that's your death if you do it at the wrong wrong time, wrong place. If you're really close to the ground, you stall. Whew. I feel sorry for you. So, we're just doing some normal flying. I'm going to show you some shooting now. Now, there isn't any infantry here, like down there, but I'm going to shoot down there just to show you how to do a strafing run. Now, when you strafing run, you need to look at the village. So let's do this place here. 
Right, we're looking at this place. Which place is this? This is. I don't know. I'll work it out. Either way. You look at the place. Now, what you want to do is you want to go away from it for quite a while. So let's pick up speed and fly away from it. Now, we're quite low to the ground here, so we want to be careful. Just get some speed up in this. That's the afternoon as well. Now, when you get far enough away from the uh, from the place of target, when you get far away from the uh, target area, you want to just turn around. Oh god! Keep stalling. And then you want to get your crosshair. So this this little dot on the on the village, and just fire. Now, strafing run means that you have to get really low down. Once you've got loads down, and once you've passed the village, you just pick yourself back up. Now be really careful with uh, straight guns, because they're not the easiest thing to do. I've crashed many times, just even now, just doing a straight run. Um, that was quite a low aerial attack, straight run. If we want to go from quite a high perspective, so I'll show you that now. Let's go quite high. Now this is a good example to show you how to get out of a small position. Focus the plane downwards, press Q to get to speed, and there we go. Right, here's the village. So now we can just fire up all over the village. It's nice. And as we get really low down with this, pick up. Oh! Ah. As I said guys, strafing runs are not easy. Uh, I stalled so many times then. Uh, I haven't flew in a while, but there's the basic controls and stuff like that um, you know maintaining flight and stuff like that oh I've got to show you landing really haven't I we'll do that quickly then um, maintaining you know flight that's down to you really once you know the controls you should be able to work that out um, and you crash all the time you can crash you know it's not easy um, it's a lot harder when you've got anti-air on you and stuff Now, landing is something that people just do wrong all the time. I see it done so badly all the time. Really, really not good. Um, I see a noob get in a plane, takes off, does that all nice and easy, and then when he comes into land, he just even if he just touches the ground like a normal plane, he'll blow up. It's so bad. I see it. I see it done all the time. So I'm just going to show you guys how to land properly. Now you can turn on the landing autopilot, which is kind of a cheat. But in a in a situation you know where you're not allowed to use landing autopilot, you know I'm going to show you how to land properly. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure you look at the map. You look at the map so you can see you know how in line you are. Now that's one of the biggest things with flying. Make sure you're in line with the runway, and you need to be in line with the runway quite far away from the runway. So this is about okay. I'm stalled again. This is not my day. Uh, this is about all right. So as you can see, the runway is right there. Now what you want to do is you want to slow down. So hold down Z, and you want to make sure you go in with really slow approach. Now you don't want to slow down so much that you'll crash, where you'll just drop, because that would be bad. You want to make sure you've got your uh, little, you know, green hood on the runway. Make sure you look out for those lights. Those lights are a good indication of where the runway is. Now, when you get really close up, you want to hold down Z and you want to pull up. You don't want to pull up too much that you start going in the air again. So remember, we are flying. Oh, there we go. It wasn't the nicest of landings, but we landed successfully. And you want to stop, and there we go. Easy. I've seen this done so many times, and it's just people just do it really badly. That wasn't a nice landing in particular. But it got us down, the vehicle is in complete, you know, full working condition. And that was just a general nice landing. Uh, I've seen some, I've had some really nice landing before where I like land properly smooth. Uh, 
but you know, for the sake of the tutorial, guys, that's how you land, really. Uh, I didn't actually adjust my flaps. That's that is bad. That is bad. Um, when you go to land, you want to make 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 sure your flaps are up. Uh, flaps need to be up when landing. Uh, that means that you pull up a bit, flaps down. Oh, oh yeah, uh, never hold S down like this and take it off, because you're stalled, as you can see I've stalled. I'm just going to crash now. You want to make sure you tap it. You want to make sure you tap it so that... I did that perhaps one way, I was showing you what happens when you hold S. Let's get out of here. You want to make sure that you tap it so it's like... Um, how do I explain it? Say when you're taking off, you tap it down. Oh, what the? oh, sticky keys. Oh, I don't know if you heard that, guys, but sticky keys came on. It minimised my game. But um, yeah, I need to turn that off. Um, you just want when you're taking off, you just want to tap S. So you kind of lifted the nose a little bit off the ground, um, and that will just take you into the air slowly and nicely. Hope this tutorial helped you out guys, I'll be doing some more videos on flying, this was kind of a quick, easy jet tutorial, uh, where I can show you guys just, you know, flying, stuff like that. Shoot. Got my MP5. I wonder if we can blow this up. No, I don't have any. So that's about it guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, uh, be sure to drop a like and a comment if this helped you out. Uh, this wasn't really showing you how to fly in general, this was trying to give you the controls. Oh, I'm stuck on a fence. Um, so, giving you the controls to be able to fly, because I know that a lot of people struggle with the controls really. Um, I mean, the controls for jets aren't that easy and it will give you, you will have a few crashes, that's why I recommend going into uh, the editor, dropping the plane. I will be doing an editor tutorial uh, after this tutorial, so if you, hmm, you should be able to go into scenario or go on a server and just get a jet. Um, there's quite a few scenarios of jets as well. I just remembered, so you can do that as well. And you may, you will crash a few times. Don't uh, don't be worried about that. Um, if you go on a server with a lot of people, and then be worried. Go on a server with not many people because then uh, you know no one will start saying get out of the jet noob and all this stuff, that's what they always used to say to me when I was a noob at this game. So, that's about it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and a comment, that was me wasn't it? And I'll see you in the next video guys, um, oh yeah, uh, before we end the video, thanks for the 800 subs, I woke up this morning, 800 subscribers, that's absolutely badass, uh, thank you a lot guys, and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye and good day. Derp, 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 derp.